I'm here today to say that I want to share this with others. Right, ditch the cardio, put the bloody trainers down, don't go on that spin bike. Training does affect appetites, 100%. Strictly weight training, no cardio, have not done a run in, I want to say, five, six months. Hello, good morning, HA family. Um, I know it's been a little while since I've made a video and that's because lots has been happening. Um, I'm gonna walk you through a few bits and pieces as an update on below and what's going on down there, what's going on with me. Um, and basically explaining the direction as to this channel, where I'm going now, what I wanna do and what I wanna achieve. Um, it's very brief. So, after three successful rounds of Clomid, I then finished the Clomid. I ovulated all three times and had a bleed. I still continued to train. I wasn't watching my food, but I certainly wasn't as hungry as what uh, I once was. Um, training does affect appetites, 100%. So, yes, naturally, you will start eating a little bit less. When I say training, I mean strictly weight training, no cardio. In fact, I have not done a run, a hit class, an attack, a spin in, I wanna say five, six months. It's a relief to not get up in the morning, early hours and think to yourself, I really don't wanna go and do that workout anymore because that was how I felt and to take that break, that mental break from training, to reevaluate what's important, what's right, and actually to discover how to do things properly has been a game changer for me. And that's why I wanna change things for others. I spent 10 years training hard, eating lettuce leaves, or barely anything, that clean food diet, and I was getting nowhere because instinctively I veer towards low fat products, I don't eat properly, I restrict my calories, I restrict my food, and I'm a very structural person, I'm very driven and determined, and I will literally restrict myself for an entire year, I won't have anything good, anything bad or untoward, because that's the type of person that I am, it's that personality, and if you are anything remotely similar to myself, you know, it can be hard. It can be really, really hard after a year of not having any chocolate to then go, can I allow myself that piece of chocolate? That for me is a thing of the past. I have received now knowledge of confirmation of ovulation. Um, I've recently just had cervical mucus appear, which is fantastic. Um, I'm no longer on the Clomid. Um, I do feel happy. The last round of Clomid, I'm not gonna lie, guys. Um, I'm surprised my husband didn't divorce me. It was only him that I directed my anger at, funnily enough, which, um, yeah, don't know. I just found him incredibly irritating and wanted to tell him. The tapping, by the way, is my Labrador Marley, who's uh, joining me for the video today, bless her. Um, so yes, where I'm heading now, I'm gonna be completely honest. I have spent 10 years doing everything wrong to now sit here today and think, I wanna do it right. I've been in a completely different industry career-wise for the past 16, 17 years. I've now trained to be a certified personal trainer and strength coach. Um, I know the differences with nutrition and diet. I know what I need to do to fuel my body, what percentage of fat, versus protein, versus carbohydrates. I need to, you know, manipulate my body composition, but also keep me healthy at the same time. I do it sensibly. Um, I'm here today to say that I wanna share this with others because if I had have had somebody 10 years ago making videos like this that could have said to me, right, ditch the cardio, put the bloody trainers down, don't go on that spin bike, this is what you need to do. If you was to strength train and eat properly, eat a better ratio of macros, even if you don't wanna track them and weigh your food out, whatever, it doesn't matter, as long as consciously you can pretty much, you know, 
tot up that you've had X amount of fat per day, which was my biggest thing. You know, some days I've actually calculated some of my previous fat gram, daily gram, and I want to say it was as low as 10 a day, sometimes lower. 10 grams a day, no wonder I was a bitch. You know, that is not enough to suffice any kind of hormone regulation in anybody's body. And you take that over a long, long period of time. I'm talking months, years. You can just appreciate where I went wrong and where things got very, very dangerous. I've come through that. I'm here on another side. I've had my bone density scan recently, which confirms it's all normal. Yes. So the strength training is definitely paying off, girls. What I have done without a period for over a decade hasn't seemed to have damaged me as much as what I once thought. I thought I was broken, and now I know I'm not broken. I just needed to get this right. I am now transitioning my career. I'm, I'm launching my own business in January. I'm in the process of building my own gym because I am passionate about wanting to share my journey, my experience with other youngsters or even the same age or older. You know, I go in the gym early hours and I see the same faces doing the same workouts and they look the fucking same. Excuse my French, but they do. They look the same. They are so dedicated. They're flitting between cardio machines. They look the same. And it's devastating to watch because I just want to intervene all the time. But when I do, they don't have any clue how to begin to strength train, what they should be eating, how they should be training. And that's what I want to change going forward. So if you like the video, guys, like it, but mostly share this. Share this with that person that you know that eats the same, trains the same and looks the same. And think to yourself, they're so dedicated. If they had somebody there that could guide them, they'd finally be able to change. You know, people are so scared. Women in particular are so scared of lifting heavy to get that bulky appearance. If you look at me, guys, I'm not, you know, I'm not skinny and scrawny. I understand that, but I'm strong. You know, at the end of the day, I am strong, feminine. And I, I wouldn't change that now. And I, I, I really hope that you guys are going to continue to follow me on my journey. I'm going to be posting, you know, workouts that I, I, ende I endeavor myself. You know, if people want to follow me on Instagram, it's uh, Strength Hut. Um, and obviously Emma Stevens. I post a lot of workouts on that now. You know, push days, pull days, sets, reps, etc. Um... You know, at the end of the day, until the business is ready to go, I'm quite happy for people to privately message me asking what kind of a macro split they may need, what kind of a calorie deficit they want to do going forward, but how to do it properly. Not let's drastically cut calories, feel like shit, not eat anything. I eat a tub of ice cream a day. A day. This is the first time in my marriage of 10 years that I have had a chocolate advent calendar. It's a sad fact, girls and guys, but it's true. This is the third, it's the third of December today. And I got back from my leg day. And the first thing I did with my husband and my son was opened up my calendar. It's a, it's a, a Lin Lenore uh, red one, by the way. And I got that heart and I ate that chocolate goodie and I felt no guilt and no whatever I, I i don't know you know before i couldn't even i couldn't even eat an apple unless i'd ran 10 miles it was horrendous so please keep following me please you know wait in anticipation for the workout videos to come share this with somebody that you may know or even friends or family that you know, you know yourself, you know, they struggle. They do the same cardio workouts, just nothing's changing. You know, they dread getting up and doing them in the morning because this journey has not just got my period back. It's changed my mentality towards eating, towards food, towards training. And I will never go back ever, ever again to putting my trainers on and having to feel of running 10 miles, which still was not good enough. It was never good enough. Nothing was ever good enough. 
back-to-back -back classes, three, four hours training a day, it was never good enough. Now it's good enough and I barely break a sweat. Girls, thank you very much. I just want to say a big thank you to everybody that's messaged me privately, that's reached out and said how much of a help that these videos have been throughout their own journey. Um, I'm not suggesting that you need to get into training or anything like that if you're still in your HA recovery, of course not. But I would like it if you kept following me. And, you know, share a post when you're ready. You know, that you want to get back into training, you know, contact me. I'm quite happy to give advice and to steer people in the right direction. Okay, guys, thanks. Maybe you make me lose my mind. Maybe you want to stay.